All right, let's pretend we got everything done. Let's go to flat lighting. What I'm going to do is lower all these meshes down to level one. Okay. Except for the handle, I would say the handle, it could be lower, it could be level zero. Yes, because those were already really high res. All right, now that we have that, let's go in here and go file. Send to Maya. And what I want to do is make sure I save this one. Okay. Then I'll go back to this one and say send to Maya, send selected to new scene. And I think that's just going to export the handle. Yep. <laughs> Oops. So in here, go to select objects, hold shift. And I want to send them at current level. Hit six and then go to rendering, go to high quality rendering, and there's your beautiful jug. <laughs> so big, so beautiful. All right, and it would have been even more beautiful if I would have uh, made it all like this, see right here, compared to there. So, got some work to do. Now this thing, it might be higher poly than what it needs to be. So your job now is to double click these edges, getting edge rings or edge loops, control right click to edge loop to edge loop and delete. So this is a great way to lower the polygon count on an object and get it ready for production. So many, so few of polys now. Now, I would stay away from maybe this curve right here. I, you know, that's something that might be able to stay. Same with that. You know, I, I'm not confused. This thing is only like 1,248 tries, which is awesome. Hmm. So <clears throat> I'll lower it down just a little bit more. The bottom, I definitely do not need these. Same with any of this. In fact, now that I have everything down pat, I might want to go in and just take these edges, control right click, to edge ring, to edge ring, to faces, to faces, and just kind of push those up a little bit, give it some contrast. Now you might be tempted to hollow this out later, that'd be fine. But don't extrude.
Okay, six on the keyboard. For me, I'm just going to give it that fake look. So just a little bit of contrast in between there. That way, if I ever have the lid just tipped a little bit to the side, it gives that darker look there. And I could put the handles back on. All right, so there we go, our finished product. So I hope you enjoyed the whole workflow series about, let's say, just adding detail to a mesh and making textures for an, a mesh based upon textures themselves, not really sculpting. You notice we didn't do any sculpting at all. So this is all based upon um, a texture workflow. So I hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.